It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today, as you can see, I'm standing in my foyer. Well, kind of on the rug in my foyer. There's the front door here behind me. And right here sits the uh, galvanized lantern from the other day. And today I'm going to be working on this big vase that sits in the corner in this foyer. Let me come a little closer to you. For those of you who might not have seen my Nashville uh, trip report, this, uh, this vase is going to be a combination of everything that I picked out, Danielle picked out, Danielle's mom Linda picked out, and Dee picked out. All four of us ladies were, you know, adding a little bit of something, something to this, to the mix here with this vase. So come along with me as I put together just a very quick, I hope it'll be quick anyway, a flower arrangement in this vase. I'm going to pull you up closer so you can get a better, better look at things here. All right. Now, the first thing I picked out was I came across these huge flowers, two cream ones and one blue one. And as you know, my theme in here is kind of a blue and cream theme. Uh, and over in this corner, I want to put just a touch of like a pale red or just a smidge of red in it, just for the patriotic, just to pull it in, you know, pull in a little bit of something, something for the patriotic, you know. So let me start out by adding these three flowers. These are my big staple pieces. All of this, I put out all my pink that I had in for spring. And I just left... Uh, some other stuff that I had had in there with just this raffia looking stuff. This is stuff that just, I had bought a package of it from, I believe, Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, one of them, and come home one day and just put stuck it in there like that. So uh, that's what all of that is. So I'm just going to leave that there. So first of all, I want the cream, one of the cream ones to go. Let's see the best way to do this. You're probably going to have to look at my back a little bit. And I'm really sorry about that, but without having my back to you just a little bit. I'm going to put one up top right there, and then one kind of lower, like that. I may need to scooch that down and kind of get that out of the way. I really don't want to see that. I actually might want this one to kind of tilt out a little bit like that. I have this up on a chair. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I might have to put it on the floor. <laughs> so we'll see how well this works. I think I'm just going to put it on the floor and drop you guys down a little further. I think it'll be sturdier and I'm not going to drop it that way or turn it off of a chair or something. Work with it that way a little bit. Now I want to put the blue one and right in the middle. Before I go further, I had bought this little piece of greenery and I just want it to kind of come out of the front, kind of just like that, kind of to the one side a little bit. Actually, I might like it on this side a little better. Because the vase is going to, I mean, that lantern is going to be kind of on this side. I go too much further I did want to add just a little bit of this a little bit of the light this is kind of a pink 
but I just want it for like a touch of what I'm going to call red. And I just, I don't even, I'm not even worried about if it's perfectly in there, but I just want a touch of it. These were, Dee helped me with these and another thing. And uh, this is Danielle. Put these out. twiggy just to anchor it down in the back I love that <laughs> okay I'm liking it so far I don't want those blue ones to follow the, the greenery just a bit and then I have one of these that I want to pair with this. Now, these are the other things that Dee found. Hang on. Which just adds a little bit more of that kind of pinky red in. I'm probably going to have to sit down on that chair and work with this a little bit. I also had these for spring, and I just love these. I think these are just, they just add a touch of cream. Remember guys, I don't have any training. So those of you who are florists may just be going, oh, Arlen, what are you doing? I'm doing just what my eye likes me to do, you guys. And if I was making this for a floral shop, I might worry a little bit more a lot about it, but I'm not, I'm making it for myself. And for, I, well, that didn't go very well, did it? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Sorry. So I just kind of go with my gut and do it. Sit down over here for a second. So I can get down on its level. Summer wildflowers, you know.
I about got it. There, I think. Need one more back here. I like it so far. It's very kind of wispy and big and bold and pretty. <laughs> Need something right there. Well, I'm just using these green picks just for some filler back here. Kind of greeny blue picks just to fill in a little bit. Oh, I like it. Kind of looks wild, doesn't it? <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah, man. All right, let me get it up on its, I still have a few more. I have like blue roses here and uh, I've got this dark blue and I didn't like how that looked. It was too dark with these pretty ones. I like these better. So I'm not gonna use those. All right, let me get it up on the, up on the uh, little stool back there and lit up and then I'll show you finished product. Yay, I like it. All right, I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. And Mr. Mr. The Hand is taking video of me because I needed his help. I couldn't get myself situated right in the foyer here. <laughs> so I finished with the uh, arrangement and he's gonna come on in here and we'll take a closer look at this so that you can see it up close. Slowly. <laughs> Gosh, I'm a snorter, you guys, when I laugh. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's coming really slow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So here it is in its glory, I'll tell you. And he plugged it in for me, and he put lights in the bottom. As I said, back last Christmas, I think, is when you had those lights in there, right? And uh, he has them all rigged up in his way that he won't tell anybody. But I'm sure that you could get some battery-operated lights that would do the same effect in there. But here it is, it's big and bold and pretty. I really am happy with how it worked out. Uh, you can see the big, big flowers that I put in it. They kind of go like in a row diagonally that way, but I kind of built diagonally down this way. Just, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I just kind of do it, you know, and I pick at it until it's like I want it. And it is making a big, bold statement in this corner now. And I am really happy with it. So, and then paired with the, the galvanized, I don't have the lights on in that, but they paired with the galvanized lantern, pulling in just a touch of the pink sea reds. You know, for the, a little bit of patriotic, uh, which will be over next week anyway. <laughs> but anyway, it's gonna stay in there for the summer. But regardless, this is it. I'm super happy with how it worked out, and this will stay till fall. This arrangement will stay until I switch things out for fall. So that's it <laughs> for this one. So let me just go into some final words. I'm so sorry. I'm hot. <laughs> Chris is giving me a thumbs up. The thumb. We should call him the thumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's cracking me up today. <laughs> Anyway, let me see if I can go into some final words here. Uh, thank you all so much for stopping by and for joining me. And thank you always for your support and your comments, all of your comments. They just touch my heart. If I'm not able to get back to you, please know once you see my little heart pop up there, you'll know that I've read it and I've taken it to my heart. And I do all of them, you guys, every single one of them. But uh, for those of you who are struggling or suffering with catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, the hand, the thumb, and I will just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Bye-bye.